Okay, so here is a problem today. Which one is bigger? Which one is larger? We have 1.005 to the power 200 and on the right hand side we have 2. Which one is bigger? On the left hand side, on the right hand side, you can easily write your suggestion in the comment section and we will check our answer here in just one minute. Okay, we have a really not interesting expression on the, on the left hand side because this like 1.005 to the power 200. Let's try to simplify this or let's try to rewrite it in different way. So we have 1.005 to the power 200, yeah? So we know that 1.005 can be written as 1 plus 1 over 200, yeah? Because 1 over 200, this is 0, 0, 0, 5, yeah? And if we add it with this one, we will have like our answer. So 1 plus 1 over 200 to the power 200, yeah? So I hope you understand this step. I just want to write from this decimal way to this as a fraction, yeah? 1 plus 1 over 200. Yeah, and this expression can be written as a product because right here we have the same element we have ra we've been raised to the power 200. So we will have like 1 plus 1 over 200, yeah, times 1 plus 1 over 200 and a lot of these parentheses and the last step or previous step we will have like 1 plus 1 over 200 and the last step 1 plus 1 over 200. 200, yeah? So we can write it as a product because we have 200, our power is 200. So right here we will have like, I, I hope you understand this because this is maybe the main step right here. We have 200 elements right here, yeah? And 200 elements because right here we have power 200, yeah? So we multiply this expression 200 times. What about this two? This two is, is a good number, but we need to express this as a product, as like that, because we need to compare these two numbers. And I'm going to show you a really good, uh, a really good method right here, because we have a really good theorem in algebra. We can express this two as a product, because we can write it as we have the denominator 200. And if we have our numerator as 400, it will be really good because we have like 400 over 200, this is equal to 2. So really good to express this 2 as 400 over 200. But moreover, this 2 can be written in another way. Let's use this 400 over 200 in our expression. So let's write this like that. So 201 over, over 200, yeah? Then we multiply it by 202 over 201. And you will understand it a little bit, wait, and you will understand what I'm going to do. Times 203 over 202 times, and the previous one, 399 over 398, and times 400 times 399, yeah? So as you can see right now, I write these two as a product, yeah? And if you look closely, this 201 can be cancelled with this 201. This 202 can be cancelled with 202, 203 with this one, 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 previous one. So we still have 200 and right here 400. So as you can see, the same is right here and the same too. But this is really important expression for us. Because we use this expression, we have a product of a lot of elements right here. And let's write this 201 over 200 as a product, yeah? So we'll have like 1 plus 1 over 200, yeah? The next element, this one, we can write as 1 plus 1 over 201. The next one, Da, 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 the previous one, right here, 1 plus 1 over 398, and the last one, 1 plus 1 over 399. And I have a question for you. How many elements we have right here? We have like 200 elements, yeah? Right here. Because we have like from 200s to 399. So between this, we have like 200 elements. So 200 200 elements we have right here, yeah? And right now, the final step. This is, we have a product, and we have a product right here. Let's compare. So as you can see, the first parentheses are the same, so we can easily cancel it, or just don't mind about this parentheses. The next step, we have a little bit difference, because right here we have only 200, and right here we add one, so 201, 202, 203. But really interesting moment, it looks like this one will be bigger, but right here, this 201 is in our denominator, yeah? So if we divide one by a, a bigger number, so if we compare like, like compare like one half 
or 1 over 100, yeah? Of course, 1 half will be bigger, yeah? So if we have a, a lower denominator, it will be a bigger number. So our this parentheses will be bigger than this one. So 1 1.005 to the power 200 is bigger than 2. Okay, I hope you understand this step. If you still have any question, write your question in the comment. It will be really interesting to read about it. Also, thank you for your watching. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.